And dinky do. Thank you. Bye. God, God bless you. Love to your friend. Bye. I will do. Right. And the next time, who knows what we'll get up to. We might do a radio strip. Because we were just enjoying ourselves. You were enjoying yourselves. And it's nobody else's business. And you're a great credit to the village. Thank you, Scotty. You're a great credit to Scotty McClue's megaphone in, darling. Thank you very much, Scotty. And I look forward to hearing the pair of you again sometime. Thank you, Scotty. I'll come down. We'll have a beetle drive. Right. All right. Thank you, Scotty. Hey, dinky do, love. Thank you. Bye bye, darling. Bye. Bye bye. There we are. Lovely lady. Two of them on Friday night that had a sherry and uh, were celebrating uh, the 60, 63rd birthday, I think it was. They were celebrating the 63rd birthday. So, marvellous. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Now, um, right. We've got uh, Barry from Moston. Are you there, Barry? Hello. Dinky do. Dinky do. Hiya. Uh, I've got a couple of things. You know about that where they're d- d- doing private prosecution? Private prosecution against uh, a criminal? Yeah. How do they know they're going to get the money for it? Well, it's worth a shot, isn't it? I mean, if the criminal's got the money, I mean, if you're a criminal and you took 50 quid off me, then I could sue you for 50 quid. And I'd know you'd got the money because you'd nicked it from me. Yeah, but I mean, like, as far as going nicking cars... But if you nick a car... Then you could get sued for ten thousand pounds if the car was worth ten grand. See, it was a flash motor. So you're saying that everyone's going to know who's nicking the stuff? Oh yeah, big style. Yeah, name and shame. If somebody's nicking, if somebody nicks a car and the car happens to be a flash motor and it's worth ten thousand pounds, yeah. right? And say they've got a tracking device on it, so they find it right away. They drive up to your house, the police, and they say you've nicked this, haven't you? We know you have. Don't give us it. Come with us. And all they can do is give you sort of like six months community service or a year in the nick or something for nicking the motor. Yeah. Also, the owner of the motor could sue you for ten grand. Yeah, but that's, now, that's brilliant, it's isn't it? Device, isn't it? Eh? It's well, what? They haven't got one of them. Yeah, but most flash motors have nowadays. They've got all, all sorts of, them, of Im- immobilizers, tracking devices, dye that comes out and sort of covers you in dye, so you're rock- walking about orange for a year. Well, you know. where I come from, mate, right? You get top cars knocked off here every night, and you can guarantee it, you know what I mean? And they never get caught for it. I don't I believe mean? it. Don't believe it. You see, what happens is the police build up a file, then they swoop and they do them for the lot. You see, so don't think they never get caught. I mean, I'll tell you something. I had a mate that got a flash motor. It got nicked one night, and it was back the next afternoon. Yeah. And the lot were in the slammer. The money's put on it. Eh? Well, not everyone in Mostyn has got the money to put flash things on it, like that, trackers and all that, what? No, no, I know, I mean, I know that, but all I'm saying is it would help if you could sue the thief for the money. Yeah, but even if you sue him, you're not guaranteed on getting the money, are you? No, you're not guaranteed, but I mean, you know, it's certainly going to be a little bit of... What is the point in suing a thief? Because you know at the end of the day that a thief anyway. But what's the point in what's the point money. what's the point in not suing a thief? You see, for instance, why is somebody thieving? Why are they taking a chance? The main reason they're taking a chance is because they think they can make a few quid in an easy way. Right? Yeah. That's why you're thieving. Now, if you suddenly found that you lost all your money, you'd think this thieving game's not very good, is it? No, it's not. I think I'll do something else like uh I don't know, um... Like what? Painting houses. And what are you going to get for that? You're going to get nothing compared to what you get from thieving. Oh, yeah, yeah, you don't get a lot from thieving. Even if you nicked a flash motor, somebody's going to give you a couple of hundred quid, aren't they? Yeah. Well, I mean, at that's... At the end of the day... At the end of the day, if you, painted, if you painted a house, somebody's going to give you a couple of hundred quid for that. Yeah, and where does that go? What do you mean, where and does where, that go? Where, do, where does a couple it, of hundred quid go? In your back pocket. Why, yeah. what do you do with it? Shove it up your nose? No, I don't think so, mate. Well, come on then. Talk you know sense. What I mean, it's, no, it's like saying if I knock a car off, you get a couple of hundred quid for that. Yeah, but you could get That's done for ten grand. Anyway. If they bring in the new legislation, you get done for ten grand. You don't want that, do you? Yeah, but who's say you li- pay say it? you lived in no a No one's gonna say, pay for that. No one's gonna pay that. Yeah, they are. Say you lived in a thirty grand house and you were thieving to pay for it. Yeah. Right? And they come round and they say, right, you've been thieving, haven't you? And you say, yeah, but you can't do anything about it, apart from give us a month's community service. And they say, oh, yes, but we're going to sue you for 10 grand, so for a start, we're taking your house. 
So that's you out, the kids and the lot out in the street. So you think, hang on a minute, I was doing this thieving to try and help me kids, not get yeah. us all flung out the flaming house. I don't know. Well, that I, makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. You know, if I, you think about at it. At the end of the day, not many people are going to... Oh, yes, they are, Barry, that. because I'll tell you, the legislation's going to be put in place, and that'll make it easy to sue the thief. Same with the shoplifters, they nick a loaf, a pint of milk, all that, you sue them oh, for... Well, that's for all the do-gooders, is it? You know what I mean? No, it's not for like, the, the do-gooders, it's to stop... You them up and you get so much. Yeah, but no, no, it's oh, not. Right. It's not to do with that. What it's to do with, right, you catch a shoplifter, yeah? You give them to the police, they give them, you know, three months community service... Yeah, but that's like grassing anyway, isn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah, well, you're going to grass somebody up that's naked. If somebody's against the law and they're taking off, you're going to grass them up, aren't you? No, not necessarily. Well, of course you are. Of course you are. I mean, I, ha I haven't got much worth naked, but if somebody nicks something off me, have I not to tell anybody of it to keep it quiet? No, it's just like me. If I had something worth robbing and someone pinched it off me, I'd do it myself. I will not go to the police about it. Well, if I'd something, if I'd something worth robbing, and somebody robbed it off us, I would say it's him, that fat so and so down the road. He did it. I saw him do it. Yeah, but that's like grassing, isn't it? You're gonna get even more grief if you grass someone up, aren't you? Not if you've got a grass line. Oh, come off it! If we set up proper grass lines, so it's just automatic. Say, right, I'm ringing the grass line. Got a, if every, I mean, if, if every have, single person grassed every thief up, the thieving would stop tomorrow. If everybody grassed them, they said, grass him up. And it became fashionable so that if you're a grass, you're a top man. So you're saying if you had, you had mates and you knew they were robbing off someone. Oh, yeah. Even if it was off the... Oh, big the time, because the best thing you can do... The best thing you... Grass them up. If it was... What did you say? If it was big chain stores, anything like that. It mate, doesn't it matter. Robbing. It doesn't matter. If if anybody's robbing, the best thing you can do is grass them up because you've done them a favour because if they get done in the early days, they learn the lesson. Yeah, but Scotty, you're in the 90s. No one grasses anyone up. Oh, everybody you know grasses. I mean? You'd be amazed. Yo, you'd be amazed who grasses who up. No, I mean, yeah, you'd well, be amazed. Like, were weak, innit? You, hey, you know listen, I mean? obviously, they're, they're, obviously, they're, obviously you don't they're, sit they're, sit down in the police station and see everybody gets grassed up. Scotty, at the end of the day, people who grass people up get paid for it. That's all they're in it for, right? But well, why not? Comes, no, but Scotty, when... If there's more to, money to be made out of grassing than nicking... Yeah, but when it comes to the crunch and the grass gets found out... Yeah. What are they going to do? They're going to pack themselves... You know what I mean? And they're going to go running to the police saying, yeah, he's after me, he's after me for grassing him up. Yeah, but then you, know you do, people, then, then, what you do it, then what you do is, if anybody does a grass in, right, they get serious, serious nick. So in other words, you can't, you can't damage a grass. If somebody's a grass, leave them alone. Because it's serious nick for, for, for damaging a grass. Yeah, but come on. No, you come on. I mean? Come on, because no. it's you've got to get things back no, on. Because, no. You see, you've got to get right, things back right, on the right, right track. If someone grasses up nowadays, yeah. they're going to get their legs broke anyway. No, Even if the found, thing oh, is, what happens it, it is... No, what happens is... Or not. No, what happens is, anybody that gets caught damaging a grass gets serious bud. Yeah, they're going to get caught for it first. Yeah, well, they're going to get caught for it because the grass goes, right, here's the people that have threatened us. There's a list of them. The police say, leave this with us. Yeah, but they're going to know who it is then, aren't they? Who is? You know what I mean? Because, like, in a circle like that, it's, say, like, say like me, you tell people certain things. You know what I mean? You know who, you, who you've told. And the people that are hanging about when the police come into it, you know what I mean? You know they've done it. Mm. You know what I mean? So a grass might get paid off the copper. The copper might say to him, yeah, tell us this, tell us that, we'll sort you out. You know what I mean? But in actual the fact... Day, they're not going to get sorted out. Because well, at the end of the day... When it comes down to it, people know who's grassed on them. No, they don't. So they're going to get... How could they, possi how could they possibly know? 
Of course they do. How could they possibly know right, who's cast on? You know what I mean? It's small communities and all yeah, that. Yeah, but how could they People possibly know. know? No, how could you possibly know? Because the police aren't going to tell anybody, are they? No, they're not going to tell anyone. Well, how could you, you possibly work? know? Because you're going to work it out for yourself, aren't you? How can you work it out? If everybody oh, uses that. the grass line, if everybody grasses up. Well, anyone who grasses the mates up, you know what I mean? They're not even worth calling. Well, mates. they're not mates. I mean, you wouldn't have mates. They're not if... even called. Yeah, but if you if you if you, if you if you if you if you if you hang about with people that have got to be grassed up, they're not real mates anyway. They're dodgy. Exactly. So you don't want to hang mates. about with dodgy people. You fly with the crows. You get shot at. You go into the kitchen. It's warm. No, oh, but grasses aren't even worth bothering about. No grasses. No grasses. Now wait a minute. Oh. Now you're missing the point. Grasses should be the ones that are absolutely held up high by the community because they're doing the community a big, big favour. They're, oh, they're pointing out. Favor, they're so. pointing out where the oh, bad lot them. are. Eh? All right. Of course they're doing a favour. Listen, hang on a minute. Do you like living in a community that's full of criminals? I'd sooner live in one where it's full of criminals. Would you? Yeah. Why, are you daft? No, I'm not daft. Well, what would you live with criminals for? At the end of the day... You must be daft. No, I'm not. But at the end of the day... Are you you dodging yourself then? Yeah, maybe. Eh? You know what I mean? But are you, you, are you a bit? Are you a bit? Are, are, at the end of it, are you a bit on the wrong side of the blanket? Have you got the sticky fingers? To a certain extent. There you, you go. There you know you, what I mean? There you go. But people, right? These grasses they go out with people. Like, say, it's like me taking someone out with me. But if you've right? got the sticky fingers, surely you should no. be in the nick. Yeah. Well, I've just come out of there. Right. Well, what, well, well you, I mean, you're, you're, you're going to end up back in Scottie, again, though. Sky, what? These people who were grassing up on thieves like me, yeah, and many people out there, you know what I mean? They're always in there with you, giving you the hand to knock the stuff off, and then when it gets too much for them, when they can't handle it because the bottle's gone, you know what I mean? The grassing you're up to the dibble. Know what I mean? Yeah, but why? Why would you be? Why would you be committing a crime in the first place? Because you don't get paid enough money, right? You know what I mean, so, so you need to go so, out there and make enough money right. to stick you, your missus, and your family. Right, right. The grasses are only there because when he gets too much, they can't stick it. So they go and grass you. Right, but the thing is, the thing is, have you never wanted to go straight? Yeah, I have wanted to go straight, you know what I mean? See, if I thought I was nicking off someone else, whether it's you or your nan or whoever, I, I couldn't sleep at night. I wouldn't fancy I'd rather starve. I'd, I'll tell you what, I'd rather pick up <laughs> off the pavement than nick off someone or banjo an old lady. No, no matter, and I've had, I've been, I'll it. bet you I've had less money than you. I'll bet you and I've been far poorer than you. I'll bet you I've lived in a far rougher area than you, and I, I, I nicked nothing, and I harmed no one. So, so why can't makes, you do the no, same? Sorry, what makes you think we take off all people? But you're taking off someone. Any it's anything it's you it's nick, it's see it's you see you nick from a it's big. It's listen to me a second. See you. No, no, hang on, hang on a second. On one thing, right? We do not go round fucking. Uh, Excuse me. We don't go around taking off all people who can't stick up for themselves. Right. We take off people who can afford to go there to the insurance company. Right. The next day. Okay. Say yeah, we've. Yeah. Had, Very you know, good. Like been, all right. Like let me tell. Le, of right. Me. Let me tell you how this works. Right. You go to the insurance company. Right. You go and you nick from someone. They go to the insurance company. The prices all go up. So who pays? We all do. Because I'll tell you something, the big companies aren't going to be covering that. We, the taxpayers, are. We pay for the insurance. We pay for the damage you do. Right? Now, you might get away with nothing, but you've done a thousand quids worth of damage to a front door. We pay for that. I pay. You pay as well. Yeah, but you're paying extra. So, like... You would get more money. You would get more money from the dough. 
right? You'd get... Uh, we don't break into shops, right? But if you broke into a major shop in town, right? Say, like, me and my mates walk off with £2,000 worth of stuff, right? That shop is going to say the next morning that we've walked off with, say... Eight, nine, ten thousand. Right, with right. So they've done all no, right, I mean, so and the rest of us, anyway. yeah, and the you rest of us, yeah, the rest of us pay for the difference. You see, so what would happen if you went straight and everyone else went straight? Right, insurance companies wouldn't be creaming off the top, and the rest of us could afford the premiums. So you could actually live your life, but yeah. you can't live your life because of people like you. Cheating the system, creaming off the top. But, Scotty, you can't say that because I've been working. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I you're creaming off the top, you see. No, I, I've been working what makes legally. You, you know what I mean? Sure, but what makes you think you can cream off the top? There's nothing that can say that. You know what I mean? But what, I work, what gives I you do. the right to take that stuff from other people? Because they're... Uh, they're the ones, basically, when you go shopping, they're the ones that are taking off you. Yeah, well, of course, oh, they are. that's the living. If you want a leather jacket, the price is 50 quid. Yeah, exactly. So if why you don't you pay the 50 it, quid? Because you want to walk around, you know, looking as if you're Lord Mark when you haven't put your hand in your pocket and the rest of us have to work. No, but what I'm trying to say I'd, is I, mean, I'd I love, was working, Scotty. I'd love your life. I was life. doing security work. I'd love you. Working you, you were doing security I work. work. I was working. Well, that's I was a working dodgy working one, isn't it? Five o'clock in the afternoon <laughs> till half seven the next morning. Well, you're very lucky. Right. You you're very I mean? lucky because and a I lot of people don't that. have jobs. I was doing that for two years. Yeah. Right. So why did you give it up? You know what I mean? I give it up because I moved back down to Manchester. Right. Right. But at the end of the day, you know what I mean? We're all getting creamed off someone. Yeah, we're you know getting I mean? creamed off you. Receiving. We're getting we're creamed not. off you because no, you're, you're cleaning everyone else out. No, you're not. You're getting creamed. If it wasn't for people like you, then folk could go around and, you know, just have a decent life. But everyone's going around in fear because of people like you nicking off them all the time. Helping yourself, suiting yourself. As long as you're all right, Jack, the rest no, of us can go no. and take a to ourselves. No, it don't work like that. Of course it no, does. I mean, you you can't seen, you tell me. You have been tempted. Eh? You're saying you or anyone else out there who's working now Listen, hasn't been tempted. Barry. I don't get enough money. Look. You look. Know what I mean? That is no Stop excuse. It, Not getting enough money and nicking is a weakness of character. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's, it's a not. weakness. Yeah, no, don't you know kid me. Saying, it's, don't listen, you? it's a weakness of character. I had nothing, right? I didn't have a farthing to scratch my backside. I the, the the backside was hanging out my jeans. All the rest of it, I couldn't put the heat on. But I'll tell you something, right? I was able to hold my head up high because I thought I am not a low life. I don't care if I've got no money. Right. I don't care if I live in <laughs> Ville, but I am not a low life. I right. will not take from someone else. If I get anything, I will get it by legitimate means. Otherwise, right. I'm not right. interested. And right. if I have nothing, then that's the way this country goes. They won't give us a job. They won't give us, okay, so I've got nothing. So Fair you're enough. You're saying no. That you don't think big chains are ripping people off, even regardless of. Listen, whether I big listen whether no, big no, chains listen, Barry. Saying. Hey, whether big chains are ripping anybody off or anything is not your business. It's not my business, right? That's between the people that go in and pay the prices and the big chains. It's nothing to do with you, and it doesn't justify your behaviour. Your behaviour is antisocial, and there's no excuse for it. That's people who are getting the big money. It doesn't matter. Half Who's half the getting the big money? Off. What's that to do with you? Can you say half the people that are working here, solicitors, anything like that, are getting their money illegally? I don't think so, mate. Of course they're getting the money illegally. Where do you think they're getting it from? It. I've eh? never been in the magistrate's courts. I don't think they work. No. Don't think so. Even at that, it doesn't matter where other people are getting the money from. What matters is where you're getting your money from. No. And you should be getting it by well, legitimate means. No. Yes. After solicitors are getting it through 
illegal channels. Look, I'm not interested in this. Look, I wish you'd stop. I wish you'd stop. I wish you'd stop, try, I wish you'd stop trying to take the heat off you. The spotlight is on you. You've got the sticky fingers. You're dodgy. And you're the one that, you know, has to sleep with that at night. Never right. mind solicitors, never mind the government, never mind the Queen, never mind who's doing what. What are you doing about, you know, making sure that you are straight and above board? Well, that was the second part that was going on about now. Because this, this first part's getting out of hand. It's not getting out of hand, it's just the fact that you won't take a no, telling. Well, Scott, come on, there's got to be times when you fought... Yeah, you know what I mean? You go no, they haven't. and you're paying and uh, you're thinking... Listen, I've ha I've ended up... You might think I'm uh, being a bit of a taking for a ride here, but I've ended up paying the lot. And I've probably ended up paying for you. No, but you're not paying for me. Yes, no, I am. No, you're not. Every time you no, nick something, not. every time you go in the nick, that costs me a lot of money. And yeah, I don't have I don't that kind of money. Of someone, you know what I mean? What? It costs about £500 a day. Yeah, well, I don't have that kind of money to be wasting on the likes of you because you can't behave yourself. If you could behave yourself, you'd save me money.